Hillary Clinton fans and you overly obsessed liberal minions to realize that Clinton would have been a lot worse if she was selected to be the president of the United States than Clockwork Orange, a.k.a. Donald Trump. It would be hands down, she would be a lot worse because there's nothing more. You know, white supremacy is the ultimate evil act of people who are classified as black or African-American, but doing and practicing white supremacy in a covert fashion, meaning I shake your hand, smile in front of your face, and then when your back is turned, I stab you in the back, as opposed to a white supremacist, a white identity extremist like Donald Trump, a.k.a. Clockwork Orange, who's overt and will tell you what he's going to do before he does it. But Clinton, like I said, would have been a lot worse if she was selected to be president of the United States. And this video that I'm going to play to you guys further proves as I'm doing my research about Libya and the downfall of that country. Our African brothers and sisters out there who are being auctioned off in modern day slavery in a, another transatlantic slave trade, an Arab slave trade. Um, and, you know, that's been happening for thousands of years but now it's it's 2018 basically and it's still happening all because of hillary clinton and all because of the obama administration point blank and simple so i'm gonna play this video family and um you know like i said clinton would have been a lot worse than clockwork orange who is right now the leader in the face of white supremacy and white identity extremists. All right, so I'm gonna play this video, family, and uh, I'll have other information um, as I find it and upload it to you guys. But check this video out and leave your comments down below. All right, family, peace. Check this out. Now, some have spoken about this, but now Clinton emails have revealed the actual reason that she ousted Gaddafi and, yes, these emails expose Hillary Clinton's true masters. Absolutely insane when these emails uh, hit. My friends, Sputnik News is reporting that a declassified email exchange between the former U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton and her advisor Sid Blumenthal shows that Clinton was up to her eyeballs in the Western conspiracy against Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi and his pan-african gold dinar currency that's according to william engdahl uh, who's made these statements after reviewing these emails it states here that a recently declassified email from the legal from the illegal private server used by the ex-secretary of state and democratic presidential hopeful hillary clinton during the washington orchestrated war against muammar Gaddafi, sheds some new light on the u.s establishment's genuine motivation Quote, in a newly classified Clinton email from Sid Blumenthal to Secretary of State Hillary Clinton dated April 2nd, 2011, Blumenthal reveals the reason that Gaddafi must be eliminated. Engdahl made this, uh, made this article, he, he, he um, revealed it in a magazine, New Eastern Outlook, quote, Using the pretext of citing an unidentified high source, Blumenthal writes to Clinton, according to sensitive information available to this source, Gaddafi's government holds 143 tons of gold and a, a similar amount in silver. This gold was accumulated prior to the current rebellion and was intended to be used to establish a pan-African currency based on the Libyan golden dinar, he writes. Quote, by 2008, the prospect of sovereign control by a growing number of African and Arab oil states of their state and oil gas revenues was causing serious concern in Wall Street as well as the city of London. It was huge liquidity in the trillions. They potentially no longer would be able to control it. Meanwhile, in 2009, Gaddafi, then president of the African Union, offered the states of the continent 
to shift to a new currency independent from the U.S. dollar, the so-called gold dinar. And the rest is history. See, Gaddafi was getting ready to challenge the central banking monopoly of the planet, the Federal, the Federal Reserve, the banksters. And what did they do? They took him out. See, he did not want to be linked to New York. He did not want to be linked to London. He wanted to have currency independence from U.S. control. That's what he wanted. He wanted to be free from that. You know, if, if you look back, I mean, how long was Gaddafi, you know, holding down Al-Qaeda? And I mean, he was, I mean, we had some pretty reasonable relationships as far as I can tell. And then all of a sudden, he's about to launch a gold dinar, challenge the, the banksters, and like that. Hillary Clinton arms the rebels, they take him out. Christopher Stevens ends up being one of the casualties of the American side. And then what happens next? ISIS takes control of Libya, and then you've got arms being dumped into Syria, the complete destabilization even further of the Middle East. All because, at least for Libya's sake, the gold dinar about to be launched. See, if Africa was able to stand on its own with its own gold currency, they, they would they'd be able to prosper. They would be able to keep their money inside their local you know, uh, country. And that's really where all the power is. It's local. It's not when you, uh, you know, uh, submit to these central bankers. That's why local currencies are so powerful. And there's a lot of them out there. 